Hey everybody, Asher here, and if you know that robot, you know what it means. It is Fallout 4 time. That's right, very exciting times. We've been waiting for this game for a very long time. I know plenty of you, the viewers, have been hyped about this game. And I'm going to be doing a Let's Play of it. So just to give you a quick disclaimer, this series is going to be a lot more about me going through, exploring the world, having a good time of it. This is not going to be a Min Max series, a how to get through the world as fast as possible progression series. This is going to be just a vanilla, straight up playthrough. I'm not going to skip cutscenes. I'm going to try and explore as best I can. So hopefully you enjoy the ride. Come along. Feel free to comment your own thoughts and experiences. So yeah, we are going to go ahead and get started. And I will tell you up front that this is going to be a series where I do not skip cutscenes or anything like that. So if you do want to just scan ahead in case you don't want to see it, that's fine. Bethesda posts a lot of beautiful videos of this game online. I will tell you that I have played a little bit into this game only really to make sure that my system specs work and that I can actually record. We got affirmatives on both, so let's go ahead and visit ye old Boston in the 21st century. My great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing. It's that war. War never changes. War never changes. You're gonna knock him dead at the Veterans Hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. All right, so here is the protagonist. You see I'm going to be playing a female protagonist because, damn it, there's not enough of those in video games. There's plenty of them in literature, a lot of good literature out there, but in terms of games, for some reason, they haven't matriculated over in the same way. It is nice that Bethesda is giving you the option of either, and both are voiced, and voiced quite well, I might say. So we're going to be doing female. You can see our robot in the background, so let us go ahead and hit enter and get this started. So confirm character. There we go. Sorry, I didn't necessarily go through all of the uh, customization options for the character creation. There's a lot out there. And I'm going to be playing this predominantly in third-person mode, if only because first-person mode gives me motion sickness and migraines, which is pretty exciting for this kind of game. So let's talk to Nate Dog. Hey, hon. 
just getting ready. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the Fallout universe, there are a lot of 1950s tropes, despite it being uh, the 2070s. Like we have Mr. Handy, but look at the handwriting. Look at the washer. Another look at the boxes. So we're going to have to deal with this. And there is some complaints and some issue in terms of the uh, cursor going a uh, vertical different speed than the horizontal. I'll have to deal with that a little bit later on. But here's the bedroom. Good old US of A. All right, so just a little bit of stuff in here. I mean, we have a camera. We really need to get those vacation photos developed. All right, and the radio. Cut it off. Cut it on. Limitless nuclear energy. Isn't that exciting? So we have a closet. No need to get dressed twice. So no need for the blue dress, I guess. Yeah, I thought there's something else. Military fatigues. I'm so proud of him. All right, guess we can't target that as well. So here is this area. Sprinting does not seem to work here. But we do have baby. And this is exactly how parenting works. All you do is go over to your child and press E and then tickles happen and it's totally fine. There's never crying. There's never being upset for anything. So Teddy Bear. How'd you get on the floor, Mr. Bear? Of course not picking it up. Wonder what Sean will grow up to be. Aw. That's a fun little book. You're special. Keep that in mind for uh later on think one day he's gonna learn how to drive all right he'll either be great at spelling or great at smashing blocks together we're both can't wait to teach him to ride this all right we should get this sign next time we're at the park let's see here can we spin the mobile there we go there's a happy little child now that does work for kids if you get that stuff activated so no laundry Anything in the closet, so like I said, we're just going to explore a little bit. Oh look, a board game called Blast Radius. Nothing uh, problematic about that. But once again, we are in an alternate retro future, and in the retro future we have, oh, robot. Ah, good morning, a British robot. Which I'm glad the floor can handle his uh, fiery uh, ability to fly. Thanks, Codsworth. All right, now we do have coffee, which you can drink. Grognak the Barbarian and the Jungle of the Bat Babies. <laughs> Interesting. So a little bit of coffee. What's in the fridge? Nuka Cola, ice cold. So nothing that I guess we can take at this point. Uh, there we go. Oh, there's the baby. Oh, good. I know we were nervous at first, but I'm glad we got Codsworth. Okay, so hopefully the audio cuts in there. All right, for you all. Salisbury steak, rated A plus. Okay, so fridge, just close that because that's a waste of energy. We have bottles. How can someone so small drink so much? You'd be surprised. All right, so what does Nate have to say? Wow, look at you. How a guy like me ever get so lucky, huh? So what else do we got here? We got the TV. We've got the uh, hollow plate player, not even a record player. So nice flowers outside, Vault Tech. Alright, so what does he say? Can you get the door? Whenever I answer, he just asks for you over and over. Okay, well let's go to the door. So here we go. Oh look, guy in a hat. Good morning. Vault Tech calling. What a happy, happy face to see this time of morning. Let's see. Now I'm going to try and get as much information as I can here. Remind me again. Why we're about you, ma'am, and helping secure your future. You see, vault is the foremost builder of state-of-the-art underground fallout shelters. Vaults, if you will. Luxury accommodations where you can wait out the horrors of nuclear devastation. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. What's so important? Why, nothing less than your entire future. If you haven't noticed, ma'am, this country has gone to heck in a handbasket. If you'll excuse my language, the big kaboom is... It's inevitable, I'm afraid. 
and coming sooner than you may think, if you catch my meaning. Now I know you're a busy woman, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being, um, <laughs> a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Now that is a uh, salesman trying to go through, and if you know some of the flicker in the background, like I said, my specs are a little bit below the uh, minimum requirements. They still run the game pretty well, but well, you may have to watch out for some of those bugs and stuff as we go in. Plus, it's a Bethesda game on release day, so yeah, that's going to happen anyway. But I have a family. You can fit us all, right? Of course, of course. Miner's your robot, naturally. In fact, you're already cleared for entrance. It's just a matter of verifying some information. Don't want there to be any holdups in the unforeseen event of <laughs> total atomic annihilation. <laughs> Won't take but a moment. All right, so like I said, I'm going to try and milk as much information as I can from this Tell guy. Tell me more about this cult. Oh, it has all the amenities of the modern home, I assure you. Not to mention total protection from nuclear radiation and hostile mutants. A better future underground. It's not only our mission, it's our passion. So, what about the mutants? No one said anything about mutants with the total atomic annihilation. So, let's be sarcastic. Well, hell, sign me up. <laughs> That's the spirit. Now, let's see. Okay, not the answer I expected, but here we go. Special! And we get to choose a name, and we're just going to choose a very American name here, which is just Sarah. So there we go. Strength, perception, endurance, charisma, intelligence, agility, and luck. The way they do leveling in this game has changed from Fallout 3, but we'll get to that as we get to the context. So what you need to know right now is most of the abilities are pretty self-explanatory. Strength, how hard you hit things. We're going to go primarily strength here. Perception, which we want some of. Perception increases like sort of ability to huh, perceive things. It matters in combat a bit. We're going to get some endurance. Not very charismatic, gonna get some good intelligence there and we'll do some agility. Let's take a little bit off of endurance and put a little bit in luck. We don't want zero luck, because luck, luck apparently plays more of a role in this game than other ones, but yeah, we have a primarily brute force, strong Sarah. That's good. Let's go ahead and accept and see what happens. Wonderful, that's everything. Uh, just gonna walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, thanks again. Hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. Now that's interesting because he said, go walk over to the vault. So I guess this is a very close neighborhood. How many eyes does he have? Three. Go ahead, honey. I'll be there in a second to help. Of course, because Nate's got to sit on the couch and everything. So here we go. Once again, parenting is apparently this easy. We can just walk over, hit play with. My boy isn't giving his mother any trouble, is he? Hey. I guess compared to a giant flying robot, probably not. All right. So we do have some interesting TV in the background, which I like the subtitles is still catching it. So Chinese forces leaving Anchorage. Interesting. With diplomacy all suspended, conventional welf warfare is taking historic toll on both sides. And you wonder if the goal USA finally ended his fight, it just can't win. All right, so there are the rockets flying around again. Once again, baby loves it. That's my boy on his best behavior, just like his dad. Well, most of the time. Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. All right, so I could be sarcastic. Could do Halloween prep or sounds fun. And do what exactly? Sir, mom, you should come and see this. Codsworth, what's wrong? All right. Hun, what's wrong with Codsworth? Oh no, maybe there's somebody in the kitchen. Oh, yes. that. So there's your good old television we seem to have what? lost contact with what our did he say? stations oh no we do, we do have we do have coming in 
that's uh, confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. We need to get to the vault. Now! Okay, so the door just randomly opened up, and here we go. For those of you who may have seen some of the preview videos, people were speculating, was this gameplay? In fact, it is. So he's running with the baby. We got big choppery things over there. Okay, so baby crying. Yeah, that pulls at my feels really hard. It's like, let's throw a baby in there just to raise the stakes. Alright, so there's good old water. Nice trees on a nice October fall day. Is he still there? Okay, so we're running up. Lots of things just flying around. Interesting how the alternate future where there's like transistors never happen, but there's lots of other high tech. Oh, vault rep can't actually get a nice. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. So that's really interesting that everyone's standing there so orderly and not trying to jump the fences. Alright, so there's our happy Vault Tech van. Alright, so we well, got to make sure the baby's okay. He's not running with as much urgency as I expect, but there we go. On the platform. Almost there. Is Sean okay? He's fine. Why can't I walk over We're to you? Okay. I love you. Oh my God! Well, that's exciting. So when you see the flash, you've already been hit by radiation. When you get hit by the shockwave, you're getting hit by more radiation. So you got some rads already. Because technically if you're hit right there like that that close, you're going to have some skin burn off. But power of video games, right? So that's your Miss Whitfield. Look at everybody just kind of clutching. Step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Okay, so there's the dumb weights down there. A better future underground. So we just Yes, up the stairs. Alright, what do we have here? For your safety. Kind of do not put your hand between the gates. Don't get caught up thinking about that. Oh, okay. Safe now. Everyone just head up these stairs and through the door there. Okay, if the elevator is stuck between levels, don't panic. An alarm bell will automatically sound. Emergency bank release is available. The machinery will enable the elevator now manually. Nearest authorized persons. All right. So we're all just here. Everything okay? It's going to be okay, right? So we got a guard. Excuse me. Up the stairs. And we got overseer with a nice stash. Welcome to your new home. Please keep moving. Up the stairs and through the door. All right. Well, good news is that she didn't get nuked. So I, I guess everyone is just so used to like having to follow the rules and follow in line all the time. So we're gonna get a. Uh, so there's father and baby. He's walking around. So I guess we get our. I don't know why we need a vault suit. Oh, look, he teleports. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you three. Follow me. I guess that's mainly because the game's used to you being in first person. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Right. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in Big Eight. How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical items we have to get through first. Good fit, don't you think? The vault yeah, is checking everyone off the list when they come in. All right, so here is such a lovely family you have. I hope you'll see this as your new home. Well, let's talk to you. Just follow your guy. He'll get you all situated. So everyone's just like, "Hey, let's go ahead and just follow what everyone else says." Hey there. Close call, huh? 
and to think I thought building the vault in the neighborhood was a bad idea. Oh, there we go. What else do we got here, Excuse Doctor? Me. Just follow your guide. Uh, nothing to worry about. Okay, who else do we got? We got Mrs. Abel, we got Daddy and Baby. Just hey, step in here just and follow put your, your vault suit on. You'll step in here. Okay. Time. It'll be Poor okay. Sean. Who is my little guy, huh? I'm not going far. I'll just be over there. There she is. See? All right. Is there anyone else that I can talk to? Step inside. Excuse me. On your vault suit. Oh. oh, my God. Okay, it doesn't look like people are terribly thrilled to necessarily go in there. Mr. Russell, hello, neighbor. That was a nuke. A goddamn nuke. So pretty much everyone freaking out. I guess decontamination pod. As we get into the vault suit, switching to first person mode. The pod will decontaminate and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Okay, I don't Procedure like being complete. able to look across at father and baby here. In Now, if you'd read into the game a little bit, you know what's going on here, but it's about to tell you anyway. It's plainly obvious. So it's so cold. Alright, so here... <clears throat> Okay, just trying to get out and what do we got? Are we okay? Almost. Everything's gonna be fine. I got let the boy go. I'm only gonna tell you once. I'm not giving you time. Okay, when he says backup, does that mean there's female here, or is she pregnant right now? I guess Vault Tech would know. Ah, but that hits that hits you right in the feels hard, especially since you're just powerless to watch. Or, I don't know. Ah. Alright, well that's one way to get out, as we have our first mission out of time, get out of the vault here. And I think that's probably as good of a place as any to stop this one. So this is Asher, we've started Fallout, we'll see what tends to happen if we can get into the wasteland in the next one. Sometimes these vault sequences can take quite some time. But I'm enjoying it so far. There's a lot to see. There's a lot to do in the days, episodes to come. Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Share your experiences in the comments. Once again, always feel a little, ugh, anything that involves, like, parents and baby and stuff getting split out. It's funny what happens when you grow up and you have kids of your own. It kind of changes your perspective on things. But, hey, that's neither here nor there. It's Fallout 4. Exciting. We will continue with more of this next time. Uh, thanks again, and look forward to doing it next. Ugh, I'm just running out of words to say. See you soon.